Hey guys, sorry that I didn't upload yesterday. Uh, between work and I wasn't really on the best like feeling wise. I just wasn't really in the mood to do a video and all that. So, anywho, I'm sorry I didn't get a video up. But hey, today is Easter. Happy Easter, y'all! And to celebrate such an amazing holiday such as Easter, because you know I'm such the holiday person, uh, I'm gonna complain because I feel like there's a lot of people who look at the hemp industry and think, oh, this is like one step right before the cannabis industry, and there are a few things in the hemp industry that needs to change. Like, honestly, some of it's got to change. And we're going to start with the first one, and that is oversized disposables and cartridges. So, if you guys don't know, three days ago I reviewed this right here. This is Altectrax Audio Splend. It is supposedly a four and a half gram disposable. Uh, I'm going to get a rip off of it for y'all. Cheers. Now, what's my problem with these, right? Well, as a person who's lived in a legal cannabis state before, who's bought from dispensaries and everything, I can tell you for a fact there is no such thing as anything more than a one gram disposable in uh, a legal state. Uh, now, there are some rare occasions where maybe, you know, you might have a one-off product where a company does a collab with another company and they create something crazy like a two gram cart, but I personally have never once seen anything more disposable-wise than half a gram from a dispensary, even though I do know there are some gram disposables in dispensaries, and I've never seen carts more than one gram from a dispensary. This is mostly due to the law restricting them from making larger disposables and larger products like cartridges and all that. Now why is this a problem? Well, I feel like a lot of people will think, oh, once weed's legalized, then they'll have like four half gram disposables, three gram disposables, etc. No, they probably won't. And I know that sounds like really like, oh, he's a party pooper, right? But at the end of the day, there is no reason to have this much concentrate in one device, in my opinion, because the problem is these devices clog. Concentrate is a stickier substance, distillate and live resins, all of those are stickier substances. So what happens when you heat that sticky substance up and it gets filled into the center coil, it starts to clog and then you end up wasting more product. So honestly, when you look at disposables, a half gram to a full gram, those don't clog that much and those are going to be the ones where you get the most out of the concentrate that you're using. Uh, that's just one of the things that really irks me is because like at the end of the day I love seeing like the progression and the evolve of the hemp industry but I feel like they're evolving at the wrong things right instead of focusing on the quality of one gram devices and half gram devices and instead of focusing on the quality of the terpenes and the cannabinoids you're working with they're focusing on making a product more catchy more appealing more whatever right another big issue I have with the hemp industry is the blatant lying. So there are a lot of companies and it's not just one, but pretty much a majority of the companies on the hemp industry are lying somewhere on their product. Whether it be this product was derived from whatnot, or this product has live resin in it, this product has this cannabinoid, this cannabinoid, this cannabinoid. Most of those aren't even in there so like there's a bunch of companies i don't want to name anybody because i don't want to make anybody mad but i've talked about it in videos before countless times when a company sends me a product or when i get a product review i show you guys the coa so that you can see if they are lying to us about what they say is actually in the product why do they do this because they don't have any regulation saying they can't do that and that's the big issue I have, is when you see these companies releasing products that you may not necessarily, oh, that's a cool new cannabinoid, oh, that's a cool new whatever, and then you end up going into their COAs and it's just Delta 8, right? You go, what, why? Why would you even, like, but it's an advertising thing, because by the time you've gotten that product, it's too late. So I, that's another thing that I really, really have been kind of upset with the hip industry. Uh, and I'm, I really want to see this stuff change because at the end of the day, there are some amazing products, some amazing companies with amazing people behind them. And I work with these companies all the time and they're great people and there's some amazing, like actual quality products out there. But there's so many, so, so many of companies 
who are just lying and not giving you actual products, not giving you anything worthwhile. I mean, it, it, it's just upsetting. Like, one of the things about this, right, this, the audio splint by Delta Extracts, they did a really good job for the first part, right? On the front of the box, it says THCA and THCP, and you go and look into the, the actual uh, COAs, and it has Delta 8, THCA, and THCP. But then, when you flip over the package, on the back it just says all these list of cannabinoids that apparently has in there, and then you look at that COA, and it's not there. Now, is the product worse or better without those? Don't know. But, I can tell you, this product is good, like what it has in it, and what the front advertises is what it has in it, and that's nice. But, the stuff they put on the back, it's unnecessary. And I feel like it's not just Delta Extracts, it's not just, you know, Herb or any of those other big companies. It, it's almost every single company in the hemp industry. It, it's kind of sad, honestly. But, it could be worse. It could be worse. Because we could go back to 2018 when we had all the black market cards and everybody was getting sick, they were vaping on vitamin E acetate, and all of that. So, I mean, it really makes you wonder what what is going to happen in the future. Now, I know a lot of people are worried about the safety, and that's one of the things I talked about, especially when the channel was a little bit smaller. I was always talking about how the main goal is to know that we are safe in this moment and not, you know, down the road. Uh, we won't know exactly how we're doing down the road because this is all new to us, right? We're being like guinea pigs in a sense. But at the same time we can be safe in this moment and another thing that this kind of segments into is a lot of these hemp companies are using really bad hardware and i just dropped my hardware but i don't know. like a lot of these companies are using cheap really fake like chinese packaging and it is awful i mean big brands like cake which is really just a fake brand uh that's made by whoever in the middle of a garage somewhere you can buy their packaging on alibaba and all their empty vapes and everything for really cheap and stuff like that exists and people don't know better because they see it in a gas station and they go huh i'll get that and then they end up you know with lip boy pneumonia because they end up getting some vitamin e that's the big problems with the hemp industry in my opinion uh there's a lot of false advertising a lot of lying and just a lot of trying to focus on the wrong things they're really trying to hit home the more size for your money and all that but I don't think that's the way they should be going they should be focusing on quality and making sure the products that they're giving us are safer and the best that they can now does this mean anything to the hemp industry not really they're not going to listen to me but if one person can say it, I feel like more can say it, right? And I feel like a lot of people would agree with me. But anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a happy Easter. Please be safe out there. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already because we are one of the fastest growing channels on all of YouTube and we are trying to reach 3,000 subscribers by the end of this month. So I know you guys can do it. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support and I'll see you all in the next one.